In the previous lecture, we briefly discussed the parenting styles of parents towards their children. Throughout the discussion, I referred to parents as a collective entity without distinguishing between fathers and mothers. We often hear people say that Chinese women are expected to be widow-style caregivers. On the other hand, some argue that the traditional gender roles of men as breadwinners and women as homemakers are natural. In today's lecture, I want to explore the role of fathers in parenting from a psychological perspective. Is raising children solely a woman's responsibility? In our daily lives, we often hear conversations like this. Wife to husband, you only know how to work outside all day, and when you come home, you either play games or watch TV. You don't take care of our child at all. Husband responds, I'm exhausted from work during the day. Besides, as the saying goes, men are breadwinners and women are homemakers. Taking care of the child is primarily the mother's responsibility. Wife protests, our child carries your surname. Who said it's solely my responsibility? I also have to work, and this is unfair. At this point, the husband may try to console her by saying, I can take care of the child too, but I'm careless and impatient. What if I ruin the child? Women are more attentive than men, and you take care of the child better than I do. From this conversation, we can see that men often believe that taking care of children is solely a woman's responsibility and has nothing to do with them. As long as they earn enough money to support the family, their duty as a husband is fulfilled. In the previous lectures, we discussed the division of labor between men and women in reproduction from an evolutionary perspective. Men's primary role is to compete for resources to support their offspring. Therefore, from this perspective, the husband's argument in the conversation above seems reasonable. However, with the development of civilization and society, survival and reproduction are no longer the only mission of humanity. Therefore, the mission of men in raising children is no longer just to provide shelter and food. So, what is the mission of fathers? Let's discuss this question from the perspectives of Eastern and Western wisdom. Eastern Educational Wisdom In traditional Eastern wisdom, both fathers and mothers are responsible for education, but their roles are different. The mother's primary responsibility is to nurture the child, especially in infancy, by providing food and emotional attachment, allowing the child to develop a healthy mind and body. The father, on the other hand, needs to teach the child various knowledge and skills, enabling the child to become self-sufficient, independent, and useful to the tribe or society. In summary, in Eastern educational wisdom, the father's mission in raising offspring is not only essential, but also critical. Western Wisdom, Father's Role Theory Based on Social Learning In the previous lecture, we discussed the significant differences in educational philosophy between the East and the West. However, in terms of the mission of fathers in raising children, the East and the West have reached a surprising consensus. Western educational psychologists believe that fathers are not only protectors and educators, but also role models for children's growth. From the perspective of social learning theory, Fathers play a crucial role in children's gender identity, personality formation, and social role positioning. Gender identity, the role model for boys and the first love for girls. In terms of gender roles and behaviors, although both parents play a role, the father's role is more significant than the mother's. For boys, the father provides a direct role model.